So Meek Mill shuts down Diddy gay sex allegations. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. So earlier this week, Rodney Little Rod Jones, a producer who worked on Diddy's The Love album Off The Grid, accused him of sexual harassment as well as drugging and threatening him over the course of a year. The legal paperwork has since been circulating online, with one note in particular generating tons of attention. Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper, R&B singer, and Stevie J. Though the two names were concealed, footnotes attached to each suggested the lawsuit refers to Meek Mill and Usher given their respective descriptions. He is a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj, and he performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. On Wednesday, February 28th, Meek Mill reshared a clip of Academic's live reaction to the above details and wrote, The way you coming on the sick now. I can't wait to meet Academics. They know I drop tomorrow. This day damage control, this net getting too weird. Bitch ass ain't gonna play no games with me. They trying to do damage control. The same thing, they almost tricked y'all with little baby. Academics and alcoholic, fully powered by the white man. Who you think posting that on every website? They be so mad. They can't stop It's few groups, lol. Get me his Addy, I'ma shoot a full production music video in front of his house, lol. Seriously, get me that one in NJ. He's an alcoholic with no life talking to kids on a computer. Normal kids watch Kai Sinat, Aiden Ross, Wallow Gilly. You a sick old black man with no life achievements trying to destroy black men because you envy us as men. Shifting his focus away from the media personality, he made it clear that the claims about him and Diddy are untrue while elaborating on his lifestyle. I'm from Philly. I don't do coke or freaky ass molly. Nobody won't even offer me coke because I'm that heavy. No man or what would ever approach me about gay activity and the whole place don't get flipped. Woke up seeing this on every blog but they know I'm coming, lol. That's why I always come around all these industry with my real friends. You never catch me around anybody from the industry alone. You can't even hold a convo without my dog stepping in the room. It's been that way. I can't wait till y'all find out I'm the illest in this ish, lol. He then shared a snippet from his upcoming EP, Ethanism, with the caption, I'm from people die for playing with the man's name. In conclusion, he wrote, The two things they say, we snitching or we gay. We generating hundreds of millions for music. It's not a coincidence we all gay and snitches. They are powering this stuff even if it's fake. The goal is to disrupt the hip-hop community. I own this music that dropped tomorrow. Play it. According to a trigger warning that prefaces the court documents, the new lawsuit filed against Diddy contains highly graphic information of a sexual nature, including sexual assault. Additionally, there are graphic images of the aftermath of a shooting, redacted images of sexual intercourse, redacted images of minors, sex workers, and prostitutes, details of sex trafficking, the illegal distribution of guns and drugs. Diddy has denied all these claims with his lawyer Sean Hawley sharing a statement with Hip Hop PX to shut down the allegations. Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies. Our attempts to share this proof with Lil Rod's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, have been ignored as Mr. Blackburn refuses to return our calls. We will address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. But what do you think about what Meek Mill had to say about all of this? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to set the date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to tipopdx.com.